Welcome back to Kernication. We're back here at Castaway Bay since they reopened uh, a couple years ago, uh, back when they opened right after the pandemic. So we're here, Castaway Bay. We're actually checking out Castaway Christmas, but I also wanted to make this video to show you a room tour of just the standard room, the two double beds and the kids sleeper and an update in the water park. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this real family vacation. All right, welcome back to the channel. So if you didn't know, Castaway Bay is a water park owned by Cedar Point since it's actually right down the street from the park. So let's head in. All right, so as we had, head in here, uh, we uh, if you haven't checked out our Castaway Christmas video, I'll go ahead and put a link up here right in the corner. Check it out. Checks out all the Christmas decorations, everything they have going on since this video will just mainly focus on the room tour and the water park. But if you're interested in seeing the decorations or around the resort, check out our channel. All right, as soon as you walk into Castaway Bay, once you turn right is the check-in desk to get your room keys and your water park passes. And for this visit, we stayed in the standard room, which is two double beds and a sleeper chair. This does accommodate up to five guests, so you do get five water park passes. The bathroom is right off the hallway as soon as you enter. It's pretty nice. Uh, single sink, toilet, uh, bath, shower combo, which was nice for the kids so they could take a bath if they needed. We only stayed a couple nights during this visit, but definitely, definitely comes in handy if you have small children who don't like to take showers. So they do include uh, shampoo, conditioner, bar of soap. Here's a uh, picture of the shower here bath combo very nice very new all these rooms were renovated a couple years ago so everything is very nice uh, at the property you do get a safe uh, it's kind of an open closet but here's the room pretty standard size hotel room you get your two double beds um, these are not queen size beds so they are a little smaller so just keep that in mind but um, if the cost savings is worth it I definitely recommend checking it out for you and your during your stay you do have this nice alarm clock next to the phone does have uh, some additional outlets on the top and USB chargers as well and it does support Bluetooth. It also had a pretty big window. Uh, we were on the first ground floor which was nice during this visit. Well, the pillow and the sheets for the sleeper chair are right under that bench and you get a pretty decent sized TV. Nice big refrigerator which we liked and a microwave. Overall we really liked the room and it fet met our needs during our stay but uh, if you do come to Castaway Bay and you want to head straight to the water park and let's say your room's not ready, uh, you just keep going down this hallway. You'll pass the High Tide Cafe here on your left. This is probably their main on-premise uh, dining location uh, besides the attached restaurant, which is actually not run by Cedar Point. But they do do a breakfast buffet here in the High Tide Cafe. We always love doing that, so I got some footage coming up here. Uh, of us getting breakfast after the water park so to stay tuned for that but here is the entrance to the water park so you go past the high tide cafe and then you'll see right next to gamers grotto which is the arcade uh, is the water park entrance on your right so you will need your wristbands to enter the water park as soon as you go through these two double doors here there is a lifeguard here uh, to check for your wristband to get entrance into the water park and if you are bringing in your own life jackets just be aware that they will inspect them there as well here are as soon as you get in they do have this nice sign that shows all the height requirements for the ride so you can kind of at a glance figure out oh hey what are my kids tall enough to ride and if you don't know how tall they are you can use this height check as well so here is the water park uh, the kids area is front and center as soon as you enter but once you go left, if you head towards the wave pool, the wave pool uh, is pretty big. So it's, I think they said it's 100,000 gallons. Uh, they do have life jackets right there, right next to the sign. So if you did not bring your own, uh, Cedar Point does have some for you to use. Uh, here are some of the rules for the wave pool. It's definitely one of our kids' favorites every time we visit. It's probably the first thing we do every time. And right across from the wave pool is the Fernando's Tadpole Pool. So this is the area for the little kids here. Um, 
if they are, they have to be below 52 inches. So this is a place just for the little kids, not really for the big kids. Doesn't really get deep, deeper than a foot and a half. They do have a couple of nice slides in here. They have the little uh, one on the right there and then the double side right there on the left. And if you go past uh, the toddler area, they have Hank's Hangout. So this is definitely for the older kids. So it's uh, five, six, seven, uh, and eight and above. They have the big uh, bucket that dumps every few minutes, which uh, the kids really, really like. So uh, this area has a few different slides uh, based on height. So uh, for the smaller one, it's uh, you got to be at least 36 inches. And then for the bigger ones, the bigger two, uh, at least 40 inches. So uh, these two right here on the right are the bigger slides, where you have to be at least 40 inches tall to ride. So for the uh, bigger kids. Uh, they also do have this uh, big spa, Gordy's Getaway. So um, I think the kids have to be at least five or older uh, to enter here since it is considered a hot tub and it is nice. It does go outside, similar to the one that we actually use at Kalahari. And if you go past Hank's Hangout, here's the smaller slide where you just have to be at least 36 inches tall uh, to ride. So my daughter is tall enough to actually ride that one. Um, they also have uh, this Pierce's play pool, and this was actually really warm during our visit. It was almost like a hot tub, but they do have some lily pads in there that float, uh, some basketballs uh, for the kids, and it, and it wasn't too deep, but our, our kids did have life jackets, so they were able to float in there, so that was nice. Uh, they do also have like this rope cross where kids are able to kind of try and cross uh, the school crossing, it's called. So. Uh, have to be at least 42 inches tall, but less than uh, kids less than 54 inches do need a life jacket for this. And since they do need a life jacket, it was nice. They actually had life jackets right near the entrance. So uh, they also have a guide on a lot of these. So if you don't know what type of life uh, jacket to put on your kid or yourself, they have that quick guide there. So in the park here, they also have the Surfside uh, Beach Bar uh, and Grill. So this is the one place to get food inside the water park so they have your standard hot dog pretzel pizza my son loves pizza so we always get pizza there definitely a, a def a nice place to just get a quick bite to eat uh while you're in the water park so they also have some adult beverages too so they have like uh, some beers uh domestics pretty standard and they also had some pale ales too uh heineken uh, and some like mixed drinks like in a can uh, for the more extreme slides, so the Air Racer Rally. So these are, have, you have to be at least 48 inches to ride. So these are more of those looking for a thrill here in the water park. So these are the ones that you actually see uh, coming outside of the building here. You actually can get a, like a little sneak through the window there. But as you drive by Castaway Bay and look from the outside, these are the slides uh, that you see. So definitely pretty extreme. I actually rode one and I was like, ooh, man, uh, it was fast. So Definitely, if you're looking for some thrill, they go outside the building, which is cool, and then uh, yeah, they'll come right back in here and into this pool uh, as well. So it's cool that you can all race uh, all at once, and then whoever you know gets to the bottom first, type of thing. And one of the last attractions uh, that we'll take a look at. This was actually closed uh, on this day, but it was open the day before. So just be aware that sometimes. Uh, if you're coming during the week and not during a peak time, they may close some of these attractions on and off for maintenance. But this is Rocket's Canopy Coaster. So this is like a water slide slash coaster combo. So they actually like launch you up and down hills and it feels kind of like a roller coaster. So uh, definitely one of the cooler attractions. Uh, so if the air racer rallies are, you know, a little too intense for you, this one uh, still a little intense. They, intense. They rate it as a five, but definitely not as fast as the air racer rally. You do have to be 42 inches to ride, so just be aware. So if you have a toddler or child with you that's under 42 inches, uh, they have to, they cannot ride. So it's not like they can ride with you if you're over 42. So just be aware of that. So it's right behind uh, Hank's hang, hang out there. So if you're looking for it, it's kind of in the back. Uh, here's another look at the uh, Fernando's Tadpole from the other side. Um, you do have to get, the kids have to come out to go up those steps uh, to go down that slide. But uh, overall, uh, we really like this water park. Um, it's a nice middle ground. It's obviously not the biggest water park since Kalahari definitely has that crown. It's got 
uh, a little more room, but this is a nice uh, happy medium in our opinion as, you know, enough uh, to keep us busy uh, and then the price is usually much better. So let us know what you think if you've been to Kalahari and Castaway Bay, uh, what you think. But one of the last things after the water park I did want to show is on uh, the club Castaway upstairs. They obviously had this decorated for Santa when we were there, but they have this cool machine where the kids can actually draw uh, and color um, various pictures and it'll actually scan it and it comes right back out onto the screen. It's really cool. Definitely check it out. It's on the second story near the party rooms. Uh, definitely a must do during your visit. Uh, we also like to stop at the arcade. They do have some great little kids games since our kids are a little bit younger. My daughter really liked the, this game here where you're the firefighter and you spray the fires out. And, uh, they have various games like this Iceman game where it's like a spray or two. Very cool. So they definitely have some games for kids of all ages, which is really great. So um, it's not just like for bigger kids, which is sometimes a frustration for us. So very cool. Uh, we also checked out Castaway Play. This wasn't open in our last video, but it's a bowling alley, uh, putt putt and an escape room. So take a look. Grab your putt putt here. The ball here, it'll just take a game card. Now this hand goes down here like this. And this hand goes up here like this. Good job. Woohoo! Yeah. Almost. Good job. All right. Did it get in? Up. Oh. All right. Mommy's gonna see if she can get it in the boat. You ready? All right. Watch out. Mr. Sure Nate's taking a video. It's okay. Ready? Think I can do it? Yeah. yeah. There's a shark in there. It's all gone? That's it? No, we're all done. All right, you think you're gonna get it in the hole there, Mom? I don't know, do you wanna try? No, you can try. Watch out, everybody get into space. Go, Miss Crystal! Go! Go, Mom! Oh! Hooray! You get a green light. So this is the escape room. But it looks like it's uh, in progress. Maybe you have to book it or something? Or maybe someone's in it? It looks pretty cool. And right across from Castaway Play is the High Tide Cafe entrance, so make sure to use your season pass if you have one. You'll get a discount, 15%, um, I think, um, depending on your pass level. But definitely check this place out for breakfast during your stay. It's one of our favorites. So in the morning, it's definitely, you know, busier as it gets closer to 9 or 10 o'clock. So if you're an early riser, definitely try and get here early to beat the crowds. They do have characters usually that'll also stop by and walk around as well. But here's some of the food. So two pretty standard eggs, sausage, bacon, hash browns. Uh, they also had biscuits and gravy, which I thought was cool. They have a cold bar too, like bagels, bagel. Uh, machine there too. Cereal for the kids. Like the orange juice machine. That was very nice. They also have the pop machine there too. So if you want some pop for breakfast. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this real family vacation. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.